So today, we are going to be playing the Berserker class, and we may just have found a way to craft up another class's items. So you're just going to have to stick around and see how we manage to do that. Okie dokie, so let's go and see what we can achieve today in some ranked games here. We found ourselves a wooden sword. We're going to take it as a way to deal a little bit of extra damage. Also going to get the healing arms and the wooden buckler here for some sustain here. Should we take a garlic? I don't think we do. I would actually like these gloves as well as the banana here. But we're going to take the gloves for right now. Switch them around just a little bit like that. We're actually going to not reserve the banana. We're actually going to reroll here as our common chances is much higher. And I would like to get some whetstones. Reason being is I would like to craft up the hero sword here. I believe, again, our first opponent here, we should have the advantage. We do have less accuracy, but we have a lot more sustain with our wooden buckler here and our weapon attacks that a little bit faster too yep we won our first round it's awesome to keep our lives going here got our dragon claws now we're going to get the whetstone and we are going to continue to reroll here we will take another letter bag for sure and we are not going to waste any time and keep rerolling here till we find more whetstones i'm going to move our letter bag down here so we can have this like this and then have our whetstone here. Not the best, but pretty decent all the same. Let's go ahead and see, can we? Just pausing the video here very quickly, just to ask you to subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks, now let's get back to the video. Beat our next opponent here, we didn't get a whole lot stronger here now, to be honest. Especially getting a Pyromancer with almost a double our HP and faster trigger. But we get Battle Rage. Can we actually win out here? It's not looking great for us, no. Man, the Pyromancer is a very strong class. We got some nice options here. We are going to be taking the Hero Sword for now. We will actually take a potion to craft up too. And I will reroll once here, looking for some more white stones. We are going to move this around just a little bit. That seems to be okay for now, and we're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to continue on. We are getting a Ranger class here in their Santa gear. But we are kind of losing here, down to the wire, but we did lose. Unfortunately, we lost another life. It is what it is. We're actually going to want the hero longsword. In the middle here, we are going to grab a piece of coal too, actually. To actually get that little bit of extra damage. And we found ourselves in another whetstone. We will take another piece of coal. And we are going to leave it like this for now. And have a trigger on our hero sword, our dragon claws. Let's continue on. Move onwards. Our opponent's build here is not looking too crazy, but they should have a potential way of stacking up quite a lot of poison very quickly. But yeah, we should beat him here. And that's our second victory. Very awesome here. We're going to take a whetstone. We should actually take this pineapple as well, actually. But honestly, we could take this Caprizillion Cider for that early-ish in the battle damage reduction. At this point, I'm actually not going to craft up a hero longsword, as I have a build idea in mind that is going to require these whetstones later on. As of right now, I'm actually going to re-roll, looking for some more and better items. I will actually take this too, and we will place it over on this side. And move these around just a little bit to get that little bit of extra damage. And honestly, yeah, that's probably the best way we can do it. We could take this leather armor for more survivability here. I'm honestly thinking about taking it. What as of right now, I'm going to use our gold up. I want to find some daggers. That is... Part of the build idea that I have going here, it involves a specific subclass, and that subclass will be revealed soon enough. So stick around to see how it. we are going to beat our opponent here. Yeah, it's not even going to be too close here. Let's grab our dagger. Let's continue to reroll. We found ourselves another whetstone. I don't know if we actually need another one for right now. We could always deal with more gloves. Should we actually take them? I don't think we actually do want them. We're kind of just looking 
for some better items for right now. Such as these leather boots we would enjoy crafting up, for sure. We're going to add our dagger in for here for now. Especially in our duffel bag, as well as being around our hero sword here. We have reserved up our boots. I'm actually going to reserve the box of riches to actually start getting some gemstones. And we are going to roll with this for now. Our opponent here has scale and damage with the axe. So this could be very, very scary here. They do have a lot of sustain. So it's not looking great in our favor. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose here. Yep. It is unfortunate, but we can deal with it. I would like that dagger. But we are going to be taking the stamina sack. As we need a bit more storage, we will reserve these all. And we are going to craft up the dragon skin boots. And we are going to leave it like this for now. The box of riches might be a bit greedy here. As we need to get stronger right now. Our build potential has dropped significantly actually. In DPS ways. When battle rage. Our battle rage is over. And it's not looking great for us again. We're down to our final life. But the build idea I had in mind was taking the anvil here. Reason being is for each crafted item. You generate a flame. As well as having any crafted item start around the anvil increases the damage in the green slot. So back in a second while I sort this out here. So welcome back. This is our setup for right now. We have our anvil in the dead center with at least four triggers on it. This potion was crafted so it actually counts as a trigger for our anvil. While also having our hero sword here being crafted as well as being an additional trigger. So it has plus eight damage and 20% less stamina consumption, making it really, really good. We are going to buy this dagger, and honestly, we need to get stronger right now, so we're going to unreserve this, and we are going to be taking some different items here. We're going to take a fanfare, and we are going to reroll here. Honestly, this would be perfect way for stability, sustainability. But we are going to continue looking to get stronger this way. And this should be one way to increase our survivability as well as our damage output. Yeah. Let's see if we can beat our opponent here. Can our subclass help us win out here? The damage of our hero sword is only 10 to 12. And it only costs 0 0.5 stamina, which is very awesome. Oh yeah, we managed to scrape on by here. The fancy fencing rapier. I don't think we want that. Could take the gloves, but I also did not want it either. I'm actually going to take this dagger for now, and I will take another penny pack. Going to reroll once more. We got a must item. Essentially, we want to craft up a blood dagger to start getting the flame here. But we also need to make full use of this fanny pack. But I genuinely don't think in this current time we can actually make better use of it. We can actually apply it up this way and have it a little bit better like this. But then we lose a trigger on our fanfare. Which I think is okay. Also put this in too. And we venture onwards here. Can we beat our opponent here? We are dealing significant damage to him. But they're also answering back, but yeah. We managed to just beat him down here. And we got our first flame. And we are going to be crafting up a burning sword. We're going to take this by color as that is basically a must item here. Actually, we'll take a leather bag for extra storage here. An extra dagger and some more boots. We really, 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 really need to craft up an item here. So we will be taking these boots. And we will be sitting this over here for now. We might lose out on some damage with this whetstone, but this should be okay for now. We have two items crafting up. 
we will reserve another dagger and we will move on for now. Can we beat our next opponent? They do have a lot of damage reduction. They're kind of just kind of stalling out, building up poison until they get into fatigue. And it's actually whittling this down pretty strong here, but we're going to be able to beat him out here. Awesome, we got two flames now, which we are going to have to situate in a little bit here in order to craft up a burning sword. So we're going to want to move around some items here. But before we actually settle on our inventory slot, we're actually going to run through all our items here in the item shops. We're going to buy some cheese. We're going to reroll some here. Hard container would also be pretty good for us. We could also just take another fanfare, as well as a stamina sack, which I am pretty excited about. Back in a second, we'll sort our inventory once again. Welcome back. This is our current setup for right now. We have our anvil in the center of all our items, with about six triggers now, giving our sword plus 12 damage, as well as 30% less stamina used. We have our weapons targeted around our hero sword, giving them plus two damage. We got our fanfare here, triggering off at least some of our items. We have our dragon claws in here, focused in our hero sword, as well as our cheese, actually, to gain max HP. And then now we can't fit in the shield here. So we're actually going to sell it, and we are going to buy another burning coal here. And we're going to craft up another burning coal to go ahead and start getting more flames. And we're going to leave it for now, and seeing can we take out our enemies here. They have an anvil as well. But our anvil situation, to me, looks a lot better than their one. They do have skill and damage with their axe, which can be quite scary. We don't exactly have skill and damage. But yeah, we managed to win out here. Not too bad. And we generate three flames here. And the reason why we're holding the whetstones all along was to craft up a burning blade here. And with this, we can also craft up Molten Daggers. Which is actually going to be really awesome here. What the Burning Sword does is on hit, 60% chance to gain 1 heat. And every 5 he gained this and plus starred weapons, gain 1 damage. And every time we craft a new dagger, we can place it around our anvil. Also, these Burning Coals, if we take this out for a second, also count. But not when they're socketed in a weapon. We want to get another fanfare as well as another stamina attack. And this is where we're going to have to rearrange some more stuff. And we are going to continue rerolling. We want definitely want more cheese. For sure. I'm going to reroll once more. Wolpertinger also would go really nicely. Our stamina consumption is not an issue. But getting extra buffs can be quite significant here. I'm going to put our fanfare in down here. We'd actually really like to have this dagger more situated here. Well, once this crafts up, we will fit it in much better here. Gonna add in our flames. Can't buy the cheese. We're gonna save our two gold. And we are gonna continue for now. Can this build destroy a build centered around it? We're becoming the Pyromancer. And it's not looking good. No, it definitely can't. We're down to our last life. But can it now? We were a bit behind again, that enemy. We now have the Burning Blade. We're going to put our Molten Dagger in. Literally beside our Burning Blade here. Next up, we wanted the Cheese. And we also, we definitely need to just be tankier. Just for the time being. So how can we achieve that? And one way we are going to do it is we are going to try and make the cheese go crazy, giving us max HP. Do we want an extra trigger on our anvil? I would believe so. Rather than actually having a 12% chance, a 1 in 10 chance basically, of dealing plus extra 6 damage in gain. 1 heat versus every hit. This deals plus 2 extra damage. I think we actually want the plus Two extra damage here. Gonna continue to reroll here. We're gonna need storage. And that's a nice hard container on sale. 
for more survivability here. And we can also reserve this cap resilience. We're going to venture onwards. Hopefully, this is enough to get through here. Can we be disappointed? Our opponent's not looking too scary. They do have a lot of regeneration and spikes. So I could be eating my words here, and it's down. It was actually much closer than I thought. But hey, we got another dagger. But we also just need to get a little bit tankier here. We're going to reserve these two items. We can't exactly fit this in for now. So we could actually reserve or remove these, I mean, and add this in. We lose a bit of heat, but I think that's okay for now anyway. And we are just going to continue on. Save our gold. I believe we can actually beat our opponent here. They do have a lot of socketed gemstones. And they are the shaman class, so they benefit a lot from it. But we scale up heat. And yeah, we managed to beat him down here. Gone crown. Do we actually want this? We have no mana generation, so it is not one I would like to get for now. We're going to get our dagger. We're actually going to put this in over here. And craft up another molten dagger. We're going to get more cheese. We're going to reroll. And we're going to fit this cheese in somewhere. Just trying to find a good position for it. If you move the dagger over here, remove this for this round, add in our cheese over here. This should help us potentially get stronger here. I'm actually going to reserve the gloves because I'd love another dragon claw situation in where this cap resilience is. And we are going to continue on. Seeing can we beat another Pyromancer here. They already stack up with so much heat. Can we outscale them here? It's not looking great for us. Although we are coming back. They do reincarnate though. So we got to get through their HP again. The cheese here has gone crazy for us. And yeah, we actually managed to beat them out here. And honestly, with one life left, we should honestly just take our points and leave. But let's see how much crazier we can get with this. Or was it more valuable just to take our rank points and leave? We're going to reroll here. Another hard container would actually be pretty nice. Also, the busted blade could be very strong with it. We could also craft the sun armor too. I don't think we want any of that. We're definitely going to get spike collar here. It is definitely a must item here. Where can we fit this in now? We're going to add this in for now over here and we're going to move our cheese down a little bit and we are going to put this in, crafting this up. We're going to add in our spike collar. We could actually move this over a little bit. Lose a little bit of heat here for some more damage reduction. Is this going to be enough to win us in this fight? We'll just have to see actually. Let's go ahead and continue on. Can we beat it out here? Our opponent is using a lot of magic items. We're going to be stacking up a lot of damage. But we are in our battle rage. We're stacking up the max HP and we are just barely scraping by. They are invulnerable. And that got so close. <laughs> that was so much closer than I thought it was going to be. But yeah. We just need to get stronger here. Easier said than done. But we will make it happen. Or we'll her for increased buffs. Could be a good shout, you know. We'll take a fanny pack. And we will actually take a pineapple here for increased cheese. Triggers. We're actually going to take the spike color, as it is a necessity in my opinion, we actually will reserve a dagger, as well as another stamina sack. Spike color is definitely going in here. I'm going to take out the forge hammer once again. I'm going to move our cheese up, and we are going to add in our pineapple. And this is looking 
not too much stronger. Our damage output is the same. But our survival heat is getting that a little bit better. Our damage output actually did increase with this by color. So we'll just have to see, can this keep us in the fight? We've only two more rounds to go. Can we win out at least one of these two fights? Our opponent here is going to stun us like crazy. So they could have the potential to win us out. We're both in battle rage. They did. If they hit us again with the Buster Blade, we lose. No, we actually managed to just scrape by. Awesome. Now, let's win it out here. Our final fight. Whether we win or lose, we survive, but we get more rank points if we win this one out. Can we make it through? We should have actually took this. And we got some cheese. Honestly, this was not a great buy. So we're actually going to sell it and sell one of our fires. For more cheese here. And we are going to have it in here. We're going to sell our forging hammer. Yeah, get rid of that stinky forging hammer. And seeing if we can buy anything else here. It's not looking like we can. Let's re once more. Not enough value. Let's move on. Can we win? Or will we lose our final fight here? Our opponent is a Dragon Tamer. By the looks of it. And what to see with this build is. Dragon Tamers are very, very strong. Yeah, they're absolutely smashing us. And it's not even close. It is what it is. We managed to survive one life. But this build was super interesting. Not the most powerful. But super interesting all the same, and I would like to explore this build subclass a little bit more and seeing how crazy it can actually get. But yeah, I also think this subclass is super unique, given the option to craft other items from another class. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I hope you keep a look out for the next one. See you next time.